Right, so today we've got the Drift Ghost XL. So we're going to have a look at unboxing it and some of the features. And this is going to be used on my bike as a forward facing camera. So it's going to be facing me. So you'll be viewing me sitting on the bike. So here we go, here's the box. So what have we got? So it's videos HD 1080 by 30 frames per second. It's got dash cam mode, it's IPX7 waterproof, eight hour battery life, 300 degree rotatable lens, clone mode, event detection, and it's Wi-Fi enabled. So let's have a look. So here it is, the Drift Ghost XL. So what we'll do first, let's just compare it to the others. So there's the XL, there's the Ghost X, and that's the 4K. Now the 4K looks a little bit different because I've got the extended battery on it. So the camera's a little bit bigger, not too much. So let's have a look on the top. So the buttons are slightly bigger, same buttons, same configuration. We've got the indicator light on all of them. We've got the display on the back. The XL has the Wi-Fi indicator light. And there it is on the X and on the 4K. I believe all the lens is the same, it's the same size, so it's 300 degree rotatable lens with a 140 degree curved lens filming, so you get quite a nice wide angle. Okay, well, let's move the 4K, so let's have a look, right, on the X there's these two little rubber doors. That one was for the USB and the microphone to plug in. And that was for the memory card. Both were waterproof. And I haven't had a problem with my 4K with those. Right, on the new XL, it's now this long door. So we pull this little catch. And there we've got memory card and a USB port. And the door's got this rubber seal on the back. And the door secures quite nice. That feels quite nice, that does. So we've got a forward facing mic. Comes with the standard drift mounts. Let's switch it on. go camera is on now I set up these cameras let me switch that off in motor we have our camera set at one touch record so we don't have to power the camera on to record so in other in other words instead of switching the camera on and then having to press record we set ours up so we just press this button and then this turns red and starts recording instantly so I'll show you there you go that's recording Press it again, stops recording, and switches the camera off. So that's how we set ours up. So when it's on the helmet, it's a nice, quick, easy feature. Well, now this XL does not have a removable battery. The battery is built in, and this is a 3000 milliamp battery. And on the box, let's have a look. The box states eight hour battery life. So last night, I put this XL on recording and I put a clock timer on my computer screen and I videoed the computer screen. And I set that running from about 11 o'clock last night and I left it running all through the night. So what I'll do is I'll put the footage up in the bottom corner of this video. I'll speed it up so it, uh, it goes through it and you can see how long this camera recorded for. 
and I worked out this camera recorded before the battery went flat was 8 hours and 37 minutes so you'll see the time at the bottom as it's going it also comes with dash cam loop mode event detection it's got a 12 megapixel photos you can take built in Wi-Fi now the sensor in this is the exact same sensor what's in the Ghost X and that's the OV46894 MP sensor so the sensors are both the same now the weight is not far off these two cameras although the camera is slightly bigger the XL that weighs 133 grams both the Ghost X and the 4K they weigh 120 grams so there's only 13 grams difference and to be honest you can't you can't feel the difference so you wouldn't notice any difference with that on your helmet right so let's just have a quick look what we got in the box so we've got our usual instruction manual and some drift stickers now what I found with these drifts is I don't need to read the instruction manual what I do is I connect the camera to the drift light app on my phone and to be honest with you there's enough settings in there to know what you're doing so we've got our USB lead We've got our two mounts, so we've got a straight mount and we've got a curved mount for the helmet. So it comes with two of those. We've also got our mic lead and our mic lead connector for the USB. Right, and we also get this little disc. And the little disc is, if we start unscrewing this, that is where our microphone plugs in and this is the nice feature with this XL microphone feature it plugs in and then you screw the thread and it makes a watertight seal so that is the IPX7 waterproof mic and there we go that's an absolutely brilliant feature that would be nice on the 4k that would because at least then when the mic's in there the mic can't come out where when you compare that to the 4K and the Ghost X, it's this USB connector. So that is quite easy to be able to pull the microphone out actually. And I've done that before, I've caught the cable on my shoulder and pulled the microphone out. But that's got a fantastic feature that is. So that would be nice to see that on all future models. Right, what I will do now, Let's see if that timer's still running down at the bottom so you can see the proof it recorded for 8 hours 37 minutes. I'm going to connect this to my phone and then I'll show you the settings we use as Motorev. Right, so let's switch the camera on. So I'm not going to one touch record, I'm going to hold it down to switch it on and it will turn green. And then this button at the back, if I press and hold that, that enables the Wi-Fi. Right, so that's the Wi-Fi, right. So on my phone, what I'll do is I'll actually, instead of showing you my phone on this camera, let me screen record it. Okay, here we go, right. So on my phone, I go to settings, Wi-Fi. Obviously it's connected to my home, right. Uh, Ghost XL. Okay, we're connected to that. Now we will go to the Drift Light app and I'll just talk you through the settings we use when we make our videos. Right, connect to camera. There we go, so. There's me. There's the camera above recording. Right, okay. So I'll tell you what, let's bring the box over. Let's have the camera sitting nicely there. Right, now on my phone, we click the cog at the top right. So, 
we have our camera set at 1080, 30 frames per second. There we go, video frame rate, 30 frames per second. Auto download, I don't use. Photo resolution, 12 megapixels. Time lapse resolution, 12 megapixels. Photo burst mode, we don't really use. And dash cam, I haven't used yet. Right, field of view. So you've got 90, 115, 140, we use 140 degrees. Exposure is set at zero in the middle, standard. Self timer is off. Video bit rate, we set at high. Video filter, normal. I don't use vivid, I don't use low light. If I need to do any editing for color or exposure, I do that in my post-production software. ISO is set to auto, Micros microphone sensitivity is set to one, speaker volume set to high, status indicator LED switched on, vibrate indication switched on, default startup mode resume, instant record is on, so that instant record there, that's when we press that once and it auto records, you don't need to pair the carry on, pair, sorry, the camera on. Video elapse not used, date, date stamp off, camera off. THM files I don't use, format SD card, and that's it. That's how we set. So the main thing we use is 1080p 30 frames, 140 degree lens, video bit rate high, video filter normal, ISO normal, microphone sensitivity one, instant record on, and that's it. That's our settings. as you can see we move the camera in we get the live view that's the drift light app and that works also for the ghost x and the ghost 4k stop recording so that's all that done so this camera um, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put this camera onto my helmet plug in the microphone and let's see how it records my voice I'd imagine the quality is going to be exactly the same as it is on the Ghost X and the 4K. So we'll do that in a bit. Also, I will get this camera mounted on the bike. We are actually going out for a ride um, sometime today. So we will see what this is like. Because if you remember, I had the Ghost 4K on my helmet. I had the GoPro Session sat on the screen of my bike with it facing me but obviously the battery life on the gopro it's just ridiculous 20 minutes and obviously i had this the session four so you can't put an external power supply into it without the door staying open so you couldn't do it because the camera would get wet so that camera has now been made redundant which is no longer going to be required so this baby is going to be sitting on my bike and this is what's going to be filming me and I can leave that from my test I've just proved I can leave that recording me for 8 hours 37 minutes which I don't think I'm ever going to ride the bike for an 8 hour stretch in one go so that is all that is needed switch the camera off that is done so that's the Ghost XL so let's have a look now at the audio footage on my helmet and we'll have a look at what it's like on the bike so there we go, there is the Ghost XL on the helmet, so we're testing out the microphone on this. There we go, if you can see it, just I'm not trying to uh, use another camera on there. So this is the audio recorded through my microphone in my helmet, this is the standard drift microphone. All right mate! So this is the microphone I use for the Ghost X the 4K and the XL, so it's no special microphone. And we're just testing the audio. Obviously this is my box of all my goodies and electrics. What it is required to make a YouTube video on a motorbike. So the audio I would imagine is exactly the same as what it is on my other cameras. And the only thing I will do on this, what you're listening to now, I won't change or affect the audio or the quality of my voice. The only thing I will do 
is slightly bring down the bass because my voice is very very deep and it can distort a bit so I'll just bring down the bass slightly but my voice will be exactly the same as it is of what it is on our videos so this is the microphone of the Drift Ghost XL so let's try when it brightens up a bit it's supposed to brighten up in the next hour we'll get the bike out and we'll get the XL mounted on the bike and we'll see what it's like on the road yeah right then so we're off on the little ride me and the goose and we have a new member of the family so the GoPro hero unfortunately GoPro it was time for you to go with your 20 minute battery it was not good enough so we have now the Drift Ghost XL is now taking prime position there she is all looking good yep she's a recording right I suppose we'd better go and meet the Gooster so there she is she's sitting lower down than the GoPro so the aerodynamics are a lot better and obviously I can get a good eight to nine hours out of that instead of 20 minutes from the GoPro and constantly having to plug in a power bank so let's go and try her out